Hello people, this is George with yet another Call of Dragons video. In this video I want to speak about heroes and which heroes it will which heroes will be the best for a free to play players to invest. Because as you understand, as if you are a free to play player, you understand that it's almost impossible for us to upgrade every single hero because it's really hard for us to generate uh, many legendary medals in order for us to upgrade the stars of the heroes and also the tokens which are pretty hard for a legendary heroes so first of all for a free to play players i want you guys to understand that your main priority should be to upgrade gatherers until you will get these two talents first is earth grace because you will be getting more experience per day and windfall windfall uh, whenever you are finishing this finishing this stack of the resources you are getting additional chests and in this chest there are more resources so which which gatherer heroes are good for what for example kela is good for a gold gathering as you can see gold gathering speed bonus uh, Chakcha is good for ore gathering and it also has a capacity bonus, but mainly you need to use Chakcha for an ore gathering. Uh, Pen is for wood gathering and Indis is a wood gathering hero also. But in my opinion, Pen is much more better than Indis. But in this game, we can uh, get Indis tokens from a Dragon Trails uh, quests, and every day you can get maximum of three tokens of Indis. So keep that in your mind, okay? Don't worry if your Indis is low. Day by day you will be generating more and more tokens. So we concluded that first of all we need to upgrade and level up Gathering Heroes, so economy won't be a problem for you. Now let's speak about fighting heroes. As a free-to-play player, you need to understand that you can't be getting marksmen, mages, and cavalry, infantry all at the same time. Basically, you won't be have enough resources to upgrade every type of hero. So you have only two choices. One is marksmen, and second is ma magic heroes. So if you choose to uh, have a first march as a mage march, Keep in mind that Waldir as an epic hero is your main priority. You need to be uh, awakening Waldir as soon as possible because it will be your main hero for a long, long time. As a mage hero for a legendary uh, heroes, Welin is a good one because as you understand, we are not spending any money, so we don't have Lilia, which is one of the best heroes, not only as a magic hero, like in general, but we are not spending even a one dollar, so we have a limited choices. First of all, Waldir, if you are a magic uh, fighting person and you choose to have a magic uh, legion, uh, Waldir and Welin. How you are getting uh, Welin, uh, tokens as you know on a vip shop let me double check on a vip shop you can choose the heroes you can get every day at least one token so if you are mage you just click on uh, welling token and every day you will be getting at least one welling token and regarding the world year, whenever you are doing like simple quests in the game you will be getting the world year tokens uh, mainly uh, like at least one per day so we concluded that if you are a mage player you are uh, choosing Waldir and Welling you are not uh, jumping around heroes like for example you should not be going for Emir you should not be going for Nika you should not be going for Bakshi you chose to be mage so go for mages uh, priority is Waldir second priority is Welling and also, uh, for a mage players, Atheus is a good choice, uh, but it's not as good as well, Waldir, okay? Uh, because uh, Waldir has a good synergy with Welin, uh, but Atheus had a good uh, synergy with Thea. But Thea is an overall uh, champion, and if the hero is overall, it means that you can uh, have any, any type of troop. Uh, in this legion but 
we don't need to be jumping around heroes because if you will just upgrade like Walder or the three star and it's not awakened and then you're gonna go to the Atheus then you're gonna go to the Thea as a free to play player you won't be able to finish at least one so keep that in mind that uh, awakening the hero is a, one of the most important things in the game so we just spoke about mages now let's go to the second uh, choice is marksman as you can understand i chose to be a marksman player and my main priority was to upgrade gwenwin which i did uh, and gwenwin carried my whole season until i got nico and until i got kinara so if you were just starting and you were not planning to spend any money on this game uh, and you are just progressing day by day and you are a marksman player keep in, keep in mind that your main uh, epic hero is Gwenwin uh, pairing with Gwenwin is always Nico not always but like it depends how fast you will get Nico whenever you are getting a legendary hero remember uh, you need to uh, at first upgrade your first skill will which will be uh, a combat skill and you are the you are making you are dealing damage with the first skill so until you will upgrade uh, like second third and fourth skill keep that in mind first priority is to have a first skill on level five so let's imagine that you already have a gwenwin awakened then your priority is nico or kinara okay in my opinion, Kinara is one of the best marksman heroes, and that's why, uh, like for example, on an epic store, on a VIP store, I choose to have a Kinara as a like once a day uh, token, uh, just because I can't get Kinara from here. Okay, I'm getting Nikos from here, and I'm getting Kinaras from here, and every day I'm kind of upgrading my heroes slowly. But what you can do, I'm not going to spend any money on this game. I'm having fun grinding this game. And that's why I chose uh, to be a free-to-play. Because that's the main fun in this game. Whenever you are defeating as a free-to-play player, people who are spending money. So, let's conclude our uh, topic. First priority should be gatherers, uh, which are in this scale up. Pen and Chak Cha. After that, we are deciding which type of legion we want to have, and we have only two options: it's a mages or marksman. If you are going mages, you are getting at an epic wall deer and at then legendary hero Welling. If you are going for a marksman, you are getting uh Gwenwin to the Awaken, and as a legendary heroes, you have two choices: it's either Nico or uh, Kinara. If you have both. You need to decide if you want to have Gwenwin in your march or you will have just Nico and Kinara. That's my main march right now and I'm sticking to it because as you can see my Nico is just 5-1-1-1 and my Kinara is 5-2-1-1. I will be grinding this game. Uh, I'm sorry that I wasn't able to post more videos about this game because I was moving out. Now I'm finally settled and I will try to make videos at least uh, like one or two videos per week thanks for watching and if you have any questions regarding this game uh, feel free to ask in the comment section okay uh, my knowledge is only for a free-to-play players and the knowledge is only how to get the best value from any upgrade or any 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 topic regarding this game uh, have fun it's a summer uh, Go to the holidays, spend time with your family, and whenever you will have time to watch my videos, feel free to watch it. Bye-bye.